Well, hi everyone and welcome back to Cat's Tiny Kitchen. It's been a while. I haven't done a lot of cooking here lately. Unfortunately, with Mike's second round of chemo and radiation, it's kicking his butt a little bit more than normal, so we haven't had a whole lot of time for videos. But today, we're going to make one of his favorites, and we're going to make um, zucchini muffins. The zucchini muffins... Um, are a result of these bad boys that I have going on here. I have several of them that I got to wash up and use. So I'm going to get that prepped, freeze some of it, and use what I don't freeze today to make the muffins. And as a little side note, um, he likes things spicy. So we are going to add some jalapeno peppers to it. So let me get this stuff all taken care of and we'll come back and I'll show you the ingredients and we'll get the recipe going. Thanks for coming along you guys. See you in a minute. I'm back everybody I got the ingredients all ready to go and we're gonna cover them and we'll get this recipe started so let's get going so we're starting out with one and three quarters cups flour one and three quarters cups zucchini then we've got one third cup of brown sugar Then we've got one half cup of granulated sugar, the regular stuff. We've got a half a cup of vegetable oil. We've got our two jalapenos, and again, this is optional. You don't have to add the jalapenos. And you can, if you do want to use them and you don't like the heat, you can go ahead and seed them and take the membranes out. Then you have the flavor there. You have a little bit of heat and it won't overpower you. But we don't seed and take the membranes out for this one. So then we've got half a teaspoon of salt. We have a quarter teaspoon of allspice. I have one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. We have a half a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking powder. And we've got our two lovely large eggs that we're going to put in there. So now that we've covered the ingredients, let's get ahead and get, get this mixed together and then I'll show you what I do when I bake them. So first we're going to take our dry ingredients. Let me make sure I got you all in this. We're going to take our dry ingredients and put them in the bowl. With the exception of the sugars. Those don't go in the bowl. And then I'm going to whisk them up a little bit just to get them mixed together really good. And then this mixture gets set aside and we're going to give me a minute here. I'll get my, my um, KitchenAid mixer set up and we will start the wet ingredients. So hang on folks. Okay, so what we're going to do first is get all of our wet ingredients and our sugars into the mixing bowl and mix them together. So I'm going to add my oil and my sugars. I don't want to forget my sugars. And my two eggs. And we're going to mix this together and sort of cream everything so that it'll make a nice smooth liquid before we add our dry ingredients. After we plug it in. 
Okay, so I'm gonna set it, at, it's in my KitchenAid mixer, I got it set at two. I don't wanna go any higher. Um, I wanna get this good and cream. We'll keep an eye on it. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. I'm gonna turn it up on three. And that's mixed pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the zucchini. Turn this off. I'm going to add my zucchini. There we go. Then I'm going to go ahead and add the jalapenos with it. And when you're working with these peppers, people, if you're not using gloves, watch your eyes. Don't rub your eyes after you've been messing with jalapenos or you're burning yourself. So let's get this mixed in. This is back on two. I want to get that good and incorporated. And now we're going to go ahead and add our dry mixture to the, the, the pot, the fun part, the pot. It's also important that you don't overwork your dough. Um, you want it to um, be mixed, but not over mixed. So we got to keep an eye on that. I'm shut this off. Get a spatula here. that a little bit more. And it is now ready to go into the cupcake cup. So hang on just a minute. We'll be right back and we'll give it give you the lowdown on that. Okay, now I'm going to take my cupcake tin and I've already put the, the paper cups in it. Um, I don't, you can grease your cupcake tins and um, pull the muffins out after they're done baking, but they tend not to, they won't stick this way. If you do them, when you grease the cupcake cups, they tend to stick and they, they can fall apart on you. So I'm using the cupcake cups and I'm gonna fill them up to the top. And while we're doing this, I have the oven preheating at 425 degrees. And we're going to bake them at 425 degrees. And I think it's 35 to 40 minutes. I might have to check my recipe. I can't remember. I want to get these cups filled first. Then I'm going to go back and um, top any of them off that aren't quite full enough. Now if you don't want to add the jalapenos and you have a little sweet tooth, you can add a half a cup of chocolate chips to this recipe. And you can actually add a, a half a cup of either walnuts or pecans, whatever you choose. Okay, we're going to go back through here now, fill them up. You want them full. Now 
It's looking pretty good. So I'm going to throw these in the oven and get them baked and I'll be back to show you the finished product after they're out of the oven. So stay tuned folks and we'll be back in a minute. Okay my timer just went off so I'm going to take the muffins out of the oven. I did do a toothpick test. Um, what you do to make sure they're done is you take a toothpick and you stick it into the middle of the muffin and pull it out and if it comes out clean they're done. So we're going to pull them out and they look really really good. And they are really really hot. So there you have it folks. Zucchini muffins with a little twist of a jalapeno pepper in them or two. Um, what I do is I bake them at 425 degrees for five minutes and then after five minutes I reduce the heat to 350 and I bake for another 15 minutes. Now remember it's going to vary from oven to oven as to how long it's going to take for yours to bake in your oven. It could take a little less time. It could take more time. But in the end, you have these beautiful, beautiful muffins that are going to be so delicious that you're going to want to make them over and over again. This is the second time I've made them this season. I have another recipe for some double chocolate zucchini muffins. I'm not a real fan of it, so we're going to work with this one and see if we can't spice this up with a little bit of chocolate. With that being said, I'd like to thank you all for coming along and, and hanging out with me today for this recipe. And all that's left now is to take a picture and give it a taste. So again, thank you so much for coming, and I hope to see you the next time.